Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sam Plus to 1997 here with another LEGO DC Comics review. Today I'll be looking at LEGO Set 41239, Eclipso's Dark Palace. From a 2015 DC Superhero Girls web series and its spin-off movies. As you can see here, Eclipso's Dark Palace is an extremely tall Disney Princess castle shaped building full of evil signs and such like. Included in this set are multiple friend-style Lego mini dolls, including Eclipso, the main supervillain, and The Flash and Wonder Woman, who are currently in the prison cell pods inside the main feature of this set. Also included in the set is Wonder Woman's invisible jet, which, for the sake of making it visually appealing to children, is uh, not actually invisible, just partially made of clear plastic and partially made of red, white, blue and gold. Inside the invisible jet is enough seating space for two friend style mini dolls as well as storage capacity for Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth and a Captain America shield repaint in Wonder Woman's colours based on the shield that she used in her mini web series on the internet. There are also two old stud shooter style missile launchers on the wings and also the stickers on the wings create the WW Wonder Woman symbol when you look at it from the top down. Apologies for the level of dust on this thing, it's been on my main display shelf for several years now. There's also a couple of visible flame pieces coming out of the back of the thrusters to show it in constant flight. For size comparison here is Wonder Woman's jet next to the Kai Fighter from Lego Ninjago's Legacy Remake, so you can see it's much smaller than that. Link in the description below to my previous review. Also, in addition, we get three of these little kryptonite, kryptonite minion creatures. In this case, made of orange kryptonite. Feel free to comment below what orange kryptonite does, I've forgotten at this point, because each color of kryptonite has its own different unique effects on Superman and Supergirl. So, the big buff kryptonite is holding a sword. The small, stubby little Kryptonite is holding twin sign like Raphael from a Ninja Turtles franchise. And there's a yeah, tall but slim Kryptonite holding a mace that's also manning this uh, Morningstar flail attack platform here on the edge of the palace to protect it from intruders. Then the top spire of the palace can also come off to become an escape craft for Eclipso so she can run away to fight another day with an opening cockpit. And there are two stud shooters on either side. And basically these thrusters here just slot in to where these bits of the roof of the palace just here. Like so. Then the main fun begins when you open the front gate of the palace at the bottom because it's all geared together with technic mechanisms. Ready? And now the palace is fully opened out so you can see everything that's going on in here. And the yeah, prison pods on the top floor can be opened so that you can either put mini dolls in or release them. So for example if I release Wonder Woman from her prison cell As you can see, Wonder Woman's design in this form is based on her motorcycle rider outfit from the web series, even though she doesn't come with a helmet or the motorcycle. There are currently four prison cells available in this uh, particular set. One for Wonder Woman, one for Supergirl, one for Batgirl, and one for The Flash. I'll just quickly get The Flash and Batgirl out of their cages as well to show off the mini doll design close to the camera. Here's The Flash. Barry Allen doesn't bother wearing a mask to hide his secret identity in this series because he's only a high school student. The Flash was included with this set, as was Wonder Woman.
But Bat Girl here was starring in her own mini Bat Jack set sold separately, which I'll review another time. In addition to all of this, there's also a couple of hidden compartments around the back. So if you open up one side, you'll get a makeup mirror with hairbrush and uh, a couple of potion bottles and a lipstick by the looks of it. Then if you open up this other side panel, you'll see a yeah, holster clip where Eclipso's power staff can be stored when she's not holding it. And if you look right at the back, you can see a computer screen and an anvil foundry area where Eclipso makes her orange kryptonite minions with a few dripping bits of orange kryptonite in the back corner. So that more or less concludes my review of LEGO DC Superhero Girls set 41239. Eclipso's Dark Palace. I have been Sandblaster1987. Thanks again for watching. With apologies for the background noise you can hear throughout this review and the length of it. My next review will be the 2024 LEGO Star Wars Droidica set. Until then, to all, all one.